Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about Lewis Mumford, which is the author of this week's article, The Invention of Printing. Lewis Mumford was an American historian, sociologist, philosopher of technology, and literary critic. Particularly noted for his studies of cities and architecture, he had a broad career as a writer. Mumford made great contributions to social philosophy, American literacy and cultural history, and the history of technology. He was born on October 19, 1895 in Flushing, Queens, New York and graduated from Stuyvesant High School in 1912. He studied at the City College of New York and the New York School for Social Research, though he never did finish his degree because he became ill with tuberculosis. Though he did recover, and in 1918, he joined the Navy to serve in World War I as a radio electrician. After being discharged just a year later, he became an associate editor of The Dial, which was an influential, influential modernist literary journal. He later worked for the New Yorker magazine and stayed there for over 30 years, criticizing architecture and commenting on urban issues. His love for the history and technology reflected in his work, much like in this week's piece, The Invention of Printing. And in, in his early writings on urban life, Mumford was optimistic about the abilities of humanity and wrote that the human race would use electricity and mass, mass communication to build a better world but he would take a much more pessimistic stance later. Mumford has been greatly recognized for his work. Some of his most notable awards are the Leonardo da Vinci Medal in 1969, the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1964, and an honorary Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1975. His work had a great influence on the American environmental movement of the time, um, environmentalist Barry Commander notes that Mumford's work contains some of the earliest and finest thinkings of bioregionalism, anti-nuclearism, biodiversity, and appropriate technology. Lewis Mumford died at the age of 94 in his home in Amina, New York, on January 26, 1990. Nine years later, his home was actually listed on the National Register of Historic Places. So yeah, I hope this gives you, gives you some context into this week's article, and I hope you enjoy Enjoy it.